Hi everyone, welcome to Bikini Design Club. Today we will be sewing our bikini pattern top triangle with a small dart under the bust. As all patterns with darts, we are gonna start by sewing the darts. So just fold the fabric, pin right sides facing together, pin the dart area, aligning the area where we have cut the darts, and then so using a straight stitch this sm slightly curved line starting on the outer side of the of the pattern and coming into the middle of the pattern the bust point when you reach the fold of the fabric on the bust point keep sewing three or more stitches and leave the tail so that we can then finish our darts we are also going to need a lot of straps just fold them in half and apply elastic on your overlock so first of all, let's sew our dart. Start from the outsides of your pattern, going until you reach the fold. This line is a, a little bit curved, it follows the seam line. And when you reach the fold, very slowly give three or more stitches and leave the tails so that we can then finish with two knots and cut the excess threads. Do the same for the linings and also for your main fabric. As for the straps, place uh, the wrong side of the fabric facing outwards, fold the fabric in two, then I place my fabric until I get to the edge where my uh, needles are and then I just sew two or three stitches. I place my presser foot up, I pu put my elastic in place until I touch my needles and then I just start sewing. This is a process for me that it's very easy nowadays. With my left hand, I'm gonna move away so that you can see with my left hand, um, I grab my fabric and I will be folding at the, same time that, at the same time that I'm sewing and with my right hand, I align the, the elastic. You can cut slightly the fabric, however, you shouldn't cut the elastic. And this is just a question of practice, believe me, you will make it. Tie two knots on each edge with the tail that we left before and cut that excess threads. I also trim a little bit the fabric on the fold for all of them. Once you do that, let's turn our straps to the right side using our loop turner. Let's grab our loop turner, mine is quite old and it's missing a little bit on the edge of the loop turner but it's fine, it still works. And very carefully I will trim the excess of the strap that I've just sewn and I will fit the small hook in the, the end on the opposite sides of my elastic, just like I'm showing you here. And now this is only practice, practice until you get it. You need to pull the strap inside the other using the hook that we have just secured to the edge of the fabric. Some fabrics are easier than others, you just need to practice a lot until you get the hang of it. Repeat the process for all your straps and they will be ready to be sewn together with the rest of your bikini. It's time to start combining our main fabric with our second fabric. This one today will be a non-reversible and as my second fabric I'm using strong power mesh. I bought mine at Beware, I'm gonna link um, on the description, I'm gonna give you the, their website but it's beware.se, they are from Sweden. And I'm using this because it's supportive, it has a, a, not a lot of elasticity and it's very comfortable. So I'm placing wrong sides facing together, so the outsides of the fabrics are facing outwards and I'm pinning the edges of the bikini top. And I repeat the process for my second top. Again, right sides facing outwards, so wrong sides facing together. So the side seams I will be sewing on my overlock and I will apply the elastic on the side of my second fabric, so my power mesh. And I always start by sewing just a little bit and then again I put the elastic until I touch the needles and I sew the rest. 
Again, you can trim a little bit of the fabric, but do not cut the elastic. When you are uh, reaching the lower part of your top on the side seam, you can slightly uh, uh, stand up the presser foot and move 45 degree angle your elastic, but then still keep sewing till you close that seam. This is just because that's going to be the channeling and it, we really don't need the elastic on that area or it will be bulkier, like I'm showing you here. Repeat this, repeat this exact same, same sewing on your four edges that we have pinned before. Since this is a non-reversible pattern, we have sewn applying the elastic on the side of our second fabric. In this case, our lining fabric, if you want to. On the lower edge, you can see that I left one centimeter without uh, elastic, like three eighths of an inch. And uh, that's because we are then going to fold that to create the channel and I don't want bulkiness with the elastic. Now I'm going to flatten my darts on the fabrics, the flat, the, flatten the fabric so it doesn't get any bulkiness under the bust. I'm going to align the lower parts of my bikini tops and I'm going to sew them with my overlock uh, without any elastic. on our table. As you can see I have the threads on my overlock matching my fabrics so it really looks nice. I only miss that I don't have a red elastic, colorful rubber elastic, well but that's too much. Now let's just fold the edges like I'm showing you here and do a top stitch. In this case I'm going to my straight stitch machine and I'm gonna sew these two edges of both pattern pieces with um, a zigzag stitch and then in the end we will do the lower part of our bikini top. So for now the sides, fold and zigzag. simulating that and then I just fold the fabric I feel with my hands where my elastic is folded and I start from the top edge until the lower part and I do a zigzag of course I have I uh, align it so that I am sewing over the elastic and near the edge of my um, pattern and I do the same process for all the four sides The top of my tri triangles today will be finished with a ring and I'm gonna show you how to sew this ring. Once you have done the top stitch like I've done here, you just insert the ring, you fold the fabric, the tip of the fabric and you sew using a straight stitch very near the ring. To go very near the ring you have some options that I hope you have on your sewing machine, that's at least how I do on mine. And what I do is, first of all, I change my presser foot to a zipper foot that allows me to go much closer to my ring. And then I also move my needle to the left until I have uh, the most proximity distance from the ring. And that's how I'm able to do the rings secured and perfect. Then let's also sew the lower parts, so creating the channel for our strap. The, the, the lower strap under the busts and to do so we only need to fold the fabric inwards, place some pins and sew using a straight stitch. 
this is not uh, something that it's hard never mind that the fabric may not be flat all around this edge it doesn't matter because once it is sewn and it's on your body you will create a gathering on the lower part so it will be anyway it will be perfect so let's use a straight stitch and from one edge to the other of course going back in the beginning of your stitch and from one edge to the other I sew this uh, line creating the channel and I sew with my main side facing up of course I can feel the fabric and I know that the seam allowance needs to be always the same from the beginning till the end you have to find the best position on your sewing machine to make sure that you are also doing just like I'm showing you here Now let's change the presser foot from a regular presser foot to a zipper foot so that we can go closer to our ring. And I also adjust the position of my needle going in this case more to the left as you see here so that I can go even closer to my uh, uh, ring. Be careful not to go with your needle over your ring or you will break your needle. Now you can do a straight stitch from the beginning, from one edge to the, to, to the other, until you know that you have secured your ring. Repeat the process on your second side. To secure the strap to the ring, I tend to leave the same presser foot because it's smaller and then I can con easily control that I also go very near uh, the position, exact position where I want to sew and I do a straight stitch just by folding the strap, going over the ring and then fold, uh, do with a fold and then sewing straight stitch, just like you see me doing here. And that's it. Our bikini top edge is ready and sewn together. We just need to trim the excess threads and fabric. One of the details that always gives the homemade swimwear an amateur look is when you don't trim properly the excess fabric and threads. So be careful and always do that when you are uh, prom uh, almost finishing your piece. So I now have trimmed everything and I'm ready to go over with the, with the strap on the lower edge of my um, bikini tops on the channel that we have created. And I do so by using my loop turner to help me go through with the strap through the two channels that we have created. If you were confused about placing your strap on the ring, watch the few, uh, this few seconds so that you can uh, see how I did it. I trimmed the excess of the strap that was crooked and then I just fold and secure it in place with my hand because with a pin this is very thick and it's not possible. And then I sewed, but you saw that a few seconds ago in this video. So with the loop turner go on your first stop, use the channel, grab the strap on the edge and very slowly pull it in inside the channel. I'm very careful doing this just because I want my strap not to twist inside. I'm very perfectionist and I really love when my strap is completely aligned and flat from one side of the first stop to the second uh, cup that we are gonna go next. So you will see that I'm very carefully aligning the strap to keep it flat and not twisted inside my channeling. And once you do that, that uh, your top is finished. And that's it for today, girls. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget that if you want to watch another uh, way of sewing this bikini top, like the reversible method, uh, you can also find that video available. Bye, girls. Mm -hmm.